Hey everyone, Brian from WorkshopAddict.com and we get a ton of questions on what the differences are between an SDS, an SDS Plus, and an SDS Max drill bit are. And that's simple. This SDS Madness came from Bosch over in Europe and it transitioned to the US and became the universal way of connecting up a masonry bit to a rotary hammer. Now what started out as SDS was something that Bosch invented to basically give you an easy way of connecting and removing the bit from the drill, but also in allowing it to use the hammer operation to move that bit in and out, to allow the hammering of the rotary hammer to crush and dissolve some of that concrete and aggregate and allow the drill and the circular motion for it to pull it out of the hole. And they needed something that was going to last a long time, but still give the bit a little bit of movement. Now you might have seen some spline shafts around, which were popular back in the day, but those seem to be moving away as SDS, SDS Plus, and SDS Max take over. Now, when we're talking about SDS and SDS Plus, SDS was the first type of bit that came that was basically made by Bosch and they improved it a little bit by doing the SDS Plus. So if you have an SDS Plus or an SDS bit, it'll go in an SDS or SDS Plus drill. Same thing, they're all compatible. Now the SDS Max is significantly more beefy than the SDS. So as you can see here, the SDS and SDS Plus are just under 3 eighths of an inch for their shaft and the SDS Max is just under 3 quarters of an inch and there is a significant difference in what you're going to see in power and the size of tools that you can get for each. Now we have an SDS Max rotary hammer here. You can see the size of it and the power it's going to give are going to be significantly more than the smaller battery operated SDS Plus units and the corded SDS Plus unit that we have. Now when you're looking at SDS drills, no matter if it's plus or max, they're going to give a number afterwards. Uh, for example, an SDS plus inch and an eighth. Now that inch and an eighth means its largest solid bit that it is rated to use is going to be an inch and an eighth around. It can use core bits that are larger than that, but the reality is that inch and an eighth is going to be its max. Now you can find half inch, you can find three quarter, five eighths, they're all over the board. But if you're consistently going to drill like a three quarter inch hole, make sure you don't go out and just buy a three quarter inch SDS drill. That is going to be its max. It's going to be probably slower there. Just like anything else, you always want to upsize a bit so that you can get a little bit more speed and reliability at that area. Now SDS and SDS Plus go from about 5 30 seconds up to an inch and an eighth for drill bits and you can find and it's hard to find them but you can find some four inch core bits for SDS Plus drills. Think about this, you're going into concrete, you're going into aggregate, you need some reliability. Once you get into four inch and you do a thin wall, you're not getting a lot of carbide there, you're not getting a lot of reliability because everything is thin so that you get an easier cut because you don't have the power. If you're doing something that large, I'd highly suggest that you move up to the SDS Max, which is going to give you a little bit better power transition because of the size of the shank. And it's also going to allow you to find a lot more bits that are going to be available up to about a six inch core bit. You can also find scrapers, you can find chisels, you can find demo uh, hammers, you can find just about anything you want for both models. But when you get into the more commercial demo side, everything is going to be SDS Max. If you walk into Home Depot or Lowe's, you're going to see everything in the SDS or SDS Plus side. It's just what more of the homeowners are going to use and you'll see a lot of kits similar to this one here, that'll give you a small chisel. Uh, something if you're going to use inside in tile or anything like that, this would be kind of more of where you're going to go. So if you're looking for anything along these lines, if you're going to use anything that's large, go with something big. I know it's a little bit more expensive, but you could sit for 45 minutes trying to make a three inch hole in concrete where this drill here would probably do it in about two minutes. I've watched a lot of people try to use these smaller drills for way more than what they're supposed to be used for. And while they will sometimes do it, it will take a lot of time. So if you're in the market, I hope this clears a little bit up. 
and gives you an idea of what's there, what to look for, and what to do. Leave your questions and comments below. Let us know if you do a lot of concrete drilling and what you use. We appreciate your time, guys. Have a great day.